It was in a bedroom on this suburban street where five bored Australian teenagers began a global internet phenomenon. On a rainy afternoon, the boys filmed and uploaded their Harlem Shake dance. Before long, hundreds, then hundreds of thousands of people around the world copied the format. I think it was like the third day, it hit like 500,000 views, and then we started to think, wow, this is starting to, you know, it's a bit weird. Then uh, it started skipping up and up, like going up a million each night, then yeah. more and more. There have been almost one billion views of copycat Harlem shakes filmed underwater, in an old people's home, at college, in the gym, just about anywhere. And do you reckon you're good dancers? No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm horrible. <laughs> no, there's no idea. <laughs> but the boys' video is now getting some into trouble. These Australian miners have been sacked for recording an underground version. Shakes on a plane has led to a safety investigation in America. And dancers in Egypt and Tunisia have even been arrested. Just like little fun and games and it turns really serious, like yeah. people losing jobs, getting arrested and like... You just wouldn't think of it. Just do, do it sensibly. You know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Up to 10,000 copycat videos have been uploaded every day. Social media experts and commentators are amazed at just how quickly this viral trend gained momentum. It's really fun and simple and easy. Uh, and if we compare that to what brands are often trying to do, they're often trying to push a commercial, commercial message and that's not really happening here. They've shaken up the internet, but unlike the musician in their clip, they've not made a cent. So for now, it's back to skateboarding and school on Monday. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, on Australia's Sunshine Coast.